Rages on businesses, as you just saw, across the county are battling the consequences of COVID-19 shutdowns. News of this new stay-at-home order devastating to those who are barely holding on. Joining us now to give reaction to this new order is County Supervisor Jim Desmond. Uh, Supervisor Desmond, wish it was better uh, under better circumstances, but we appreciate you joining us tonight. Absolutely. Happy to be here. And I want to start off. You have been a huge proponent since day one of local control, so I can only imagine you've got some thoughts, especially on the latest news of this regional approach. Step us through the problem you have with that. Well, the fact of this new regional approach, it just came out a couple days ago. None of us in the region had any input on it. It just came down as a decree out of Sacramento. And as you mentioned earlier, the San Diego numbers are good. We're at 22 percent, you know, excess capacity for ICU beds. So, and so the fact that we ourselves didn't get us down below the 15 percent uh, number, you know, we're being punished for other people's misgivings. This this regional sector, the Southern California uh, sector, has 58 percent of the population of California. Wow. And it's kind of horseshoe shaped. It's it goes up to San Luis Obispo and up to Mammoth Lakes. It's got the five biggest counties in the state, being L.A., uh, Orange County, San Diego, San Bernardino, and uh, Riverside County. The largest five largest uh, counties in the state, and we all have them. And so, we've done the right things in San Diego County, and it's been impressed upon people to do that. We've done it, but because now we're in this region. Uh, we're being punished. And quite frankly, it's very disheartening for a lot of these businesses who went to the extra effort, who bought the ta outside tables, who bought the outside heaters, who did all of these things, and we're doing it safely and we're doing it right. And once again, they're getting punished. And that, that was something that I, I was listening yeah. in today, actually called in to, to ask a question to uh, the, the unplanned press briefing. And, and I did ask that, kind of what that uh, data showed and why this regional approach was maybe something that would help curb the spread. They said that it came down to being able to uh, potentially have to send other patients to ICUs. If one becomes full, you send it maybe to the other region that's not as full, but it's, as you mentioned, punishing maybe some that have done the right thing. And, and I do want to reiterate what you just said. It, San Diego did not have an opportunity to review and provide input. This was uh, what you released, and they said they did not agree uh, to the system. So what do you think would have changed if you and Public Health Officer Wilma Wooten could have had a, a, a maybe an input here? Well, maybe at least, I mean, I get the you know bed exchange and things like that, but Mammoth Lake and and San Diego, uh, it, you know, come on, give me a break. It, it, to me, it's just we got overburdened with the population, and and I think what I would like to you know if, if I were working with Wilma on this, say look, we're willing to you know pitch in and be fair and help our our count, other counties and everything else out, but we 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 don't want to be punished for it if other counties aren't living up to their end of the game, and and unfortunately. You know, L.A. County, which is, you know, the most populous, they got 10 million people in that county. Unfortunately, they've never gotten out of the purple. Well, we should get credit for the good things that we've done in San Diego County instead of just being lumped in, being punished like everybody else. It's sort of, you know, like, you know why should I study hard in class and, and try to get A's when I'm just going to get graded on an average by everybody else? It's kind of takes the incentive out. And I think that's really kind of the biggest driver in what's happening and why our numbers are going up is primarily because apathy and complacency and the confusion. And, and even if you do all the right things, your business is still getting shut down. Mm -hmm. You know, we, the virus is the enemy, not businesses, not churches, not schools. We should enforce the health practices. We should enforce those things, not business sector closures. And final here, I want to bring that up as we're talking about that. Uh, Mayor Kevin Faulkner tweeting something very similar that he uh, said in part, our small businesses aren't being treated fairly. He said if the governor shuts restaurants down, it's only right for the state to compensate them for the cost incurred moving indoors. But now they're not even being told to, that they can do that. They are having to shut down and go take out only. What are your thoughts to this? Well, I, I, you know, the bailouts are nice, but bailouts are, 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 are just, they're not enough and they, they don't really help that much. People want to get back to work and they are willing to do it safely. 
I mean, it, they're not the enemy. And so the fact that they're being shut down after doing the right things is just very frustrating. You know, a lot of people out there just kind of shrugging their shoulders and saying, what the can I do? We've done everything we possibly could and yet still getting punished. So, you know, bailouts are nice, but get let people do the right things. 99.9% of them will and if, give them the opportunity like other businesses have. And I think we can get through this and more, more of those common sense type practices people will get and understand. But when you see the hypocrisy of the governor in the French laundry and the things he he's not even following his own rules, what's he expect of the populace? Supervisor Jim Desmond, I think you uh, hit the nail on the head. Confusion has definitely been something we have seen uh, throughout this pandemic. We are hoping for more clarity moving forward. We appreciate you taking the time tonight and we will check back in with you soon. Thanks a lot. Thanks.